the graphic overlay that the crew is monitoring as HTV continues to close in uh, on the station. Right now it's about uh, 30 meters away, which is a distance of about 98 feet. It is at a hold point right now for about the next uh, six and a half minutes. And once the go is given, that is when HTV will continue to close in to a point of about 10 meters or 33 feet. Playing game. Yeah. Over the ping. Capture. Capture goes blue. Capture of the Japanese HTV cargo craft confirmed at 5.41 a.m. Central Time. The two vehicles are over the southern Indian Ocean uh, at about 220 miles heading down toward the southeast. Engine is 5,300, position hold. And Houston Station, HTV capture is complete. Great job, you guys, Paolo, Katie, and Scott, on the uh, morning's work. Congratulations to all of you, and congratulations to the HTV flight control team. Great work today. Megan, we have a tour in our grasp. It demonstrates what we can do when humans and robots work together. We we'll look forward to bringing HTV2 and Crematoria aboard the International Space Station. Good words, Katie. And there is our first live view of the HTV captured by the station's robotic arm. Right now the two spacecraft are uh, to the south of Australia, about to head toward the northeast over the Pacific Ocean. They are uh, heading into orbital night, the sun uh, beginning to set. Uh, robotics officer confirming that the arm is in motion, so uh, things beginning to move forward as HTV continues to near that bottom side of the Harmony node. It's about a nine-minute movement uh, that's uh, being undertaken at this point in time. The Expedition 26 crew continuing to move the Japanese HTV cargo craft inch by inch toward the International Space Station. This is a very slow process. They will uh, verify that everything is lined up according to plan. And the mission control team here in Houston is uh, watching over the progress. Uh, we do, Katie. In the center, we see one, uh, we see actually two red circles, and they're not concentric. Which one do we fly?
Yeah, we're seeing the same thing here, Katie, and we're talking about it. Actually, now they are concentric. Estimated four RTL, seven centimeters. Great job, and we see the same down here. Katie Coleman confirming that the, uh, the crew sees four good, what are known as RTLs. These are ready to latch indicators. This basically means that HTV is in the proper position, and uh, the crew should be uh, proceeding toward securing the bolts here uh, shortly. Coleman had called down to the crew here and uh, the team here in Houston uh, talking about those two circles you see in the middle that they were not concentric to one another. And the team here in Houston believed that uh, one of those is a reflection actually off of the end of HTV's uh, hatchway and that the crew could basically just disregard that and take a look at the uh, red chevrons which were in view uh, just a few minutes ago as HTV closed in. That portion of the HTV cargo craft that is uh, about to be mated with the International Space Station is the pressurized section that contains the hatch in between HTV and the International Space Station. That hatch will be opened up tomorrow morning at 6.30 a.m. Central Time, 7.30 a.m. Eastern Time. There's a list of verification procedures that the crew needs to go through to make sure that there is a good seal. Uh, they will take a look inside to make sure that the actual environment inside is uh, free of debris or anything that may have uh, floated up during uh, the trip up into space. This is Mission Control Houston. The uh, team here in Houston continuing to uh, plan ahead for the next tasks. They will uh, get the crew set up and ready to release the arm from the uh, HTV itself. They have uh, confirmed that there is a good second stage capture. All of the 16 bolts that are holding HTV to the International Space Station look to be in good shape. See, the official berthing time is 8.51 a.m. Central Time, about three minutes ago. 8.51 a.m. Central Time, 9.51 a.m. Eastern Time.